Uh, Laura O'Brien. Hello. Oh, okay, you got the timer going, thanks. Um, so I wanted to talk to you tonight about transparency and I found it interesting that you had the studer come and give a dem demonstration and talk because actually that's what I'm here to talk about is my own survey. Um, there is a pressing need in our school district and since I was not able to get the results from the district survey through an open records request, I decided to do my own. In this survey that was done for just Oldham County families, 164 people responded, which of those 164, it accounted for 230 kids in our district. There were 17 district employees who took it and seven previous employees. This survey was open to anyone and was taken by people of differing beliefs and political persuasions. One of the questions on the survey that was asked was, as a whole, do you think our school board is transparent? Out of 150 responses, 120 people said no. They don't think that our school board is transparent. When asked what could our school board do to increase transparency, the top five suggestions were, one, allow for free speech at the board meetings, two, have open town hall meetings, three, communicate with and include parents in the decisions, four, stop having backroom discussions, their words, about agenda items, but instead discuss them openly at meetings, Five, increase information on your website, such as posting the full budget, policy changes, and detailed agenda items. As you can see, there is an overwhelming concern with the community about the lack of transparency in our district. People don't want a small chunk of the truth. They want to be informed and included on all of it. A perfect example of the lack of transparency is the proposed policy change for the public expression. The board proposed this policy that would limit our free speech at board meetings without informing the community or asking our opinion. It would be very nice if you got community input on that policy before you change it and take away our voice. If you want to build trust between the board and the community, you can start by taking the suggestions made on the survey. I think we all can agree that it's time to restore trust and we need to move our district forward. Because I truly believe in transparency, the results of this survey that I did, which was free, will be available to the public on my Facebook page, including all raw data on a spreadsheet. I highly suggest everyone read it because the responses are eye-opening and thought-provoking and very different from the ones that Studer presented. Thank you. <laughs> 